So it's the 2nd of March. The snow's still here, obviously. Birds have all come into the garden because we're surrounded by fields and woodland. And I suppose the birds run out food in the woodland. And they know there might be some in the garden because people put bird feeders up. Like we've got one on the apple tree. It's got a great tit on there at the moment, look. Both my neighbours have got bird feeders. That on that hood on top of that, my my neighbour's bird feeder, that's to keep the squirrels off. They had a great a spotted woodpecker on their bird feeder, and it was trying to get the nuts through the plastic. Seems to have got mainly sparrows. Oh, there's a great tip. Oh, is that a robin? That's a sparrow, I think. They're regular on putting the nuts up. I'm not quite so regular. And some folks in our row put nuts up all through the year and quite a lot of feeders so they know where to come the birds if they get a bit hungry and they eat nuts or niger seed which is the little black ones a whole host of sparrows flying about around there they haven't got a cat at the moment next door so that's another help and our cat has got so fat that it doesn't really catch so many birds as it did helen's taking pictures of the cat with the ipad It's got her ribbons on, of course she could easily be catching birds if she was fit, but she's not so. And of course um, the birds need water, because all the water's frozen. Now the rabbit needs water. The rabbits, we keep the rabbits in that box in there because the, the, the fox could get them in the night. They've got that wire run on the outside, so they've got a run, which is like a freedom for them. And we worked out they're, well, at least eight years old now. Yep. And here come the rabbits. What the rabbits like to do first thing when they come out is go to the, they have a little toilet. They're sort of like house trained. They always go to the toilet in the same place and then that place can be cleaned up. We have a little dung heap, rabbit dung heap. They're quite clean animals really. That's the dung heap being emptied. She hasn't seen our videoing her yet, so we're getting completely natural poses which is nice because when people know they're in front of the camera they do behave in rather strange ways so now she's going to put some hay in their toilet because they like a bit of hay in the toilet and they'll eat a little bit of that hay before before they start weeing on it now she's making a little a little uh, run for the rabbits to be able to get from there, from in, from the snow to the toilet. Now she's encouraging them to go to the toilet. It's like a little story, isn't it? And of course they like to go back into their overnight shelter because that is sheltered and it won't have snow in it. So it's just got the, the hay in there. And they also like a bit of company, so they do tend to stick together, the rabbits. One rabbit on its own would be a bit lonely, wouldn't it? I don't know where Helen's picked this hat up from. It has sort of ears. Like a, I don't know whether it's a West Brom or something like that. West Bromwich Albion. What attempts to photograph the cat in the snow? Cat sticks with Helen. It's a bit cautious with me, really. 